Hi, good evening everyone, just Damien here. Um, I just wanted to discuss with you about media, opportun media opportunities for the home uh, or media connected devices, media streaming should I say. Uh, just basically I've talked about it before and I do want to upgrade my streaming facilities. Um, I do normally run Android TV boxes. However, the, from watching liners from LTT, from LTT, there and Austin Evans, they've said that a lot of these devices and that kind of thing are, are full of malware and that kind of thing. So and security risks. I do want to upgrade the system eventually uh, not for every room though but for the main room for this room the living room uh but i generally don't know what to to to, to upgrade it with or anything yet um i am getting told that there's a new that there might be a new nvidia shield coming out tv pro and then i'm getting told that that's not clarified. Uh, some people are still saying the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro 2019 is the best one to get. And I was doing some research on that last night. And there were some videos about the new Google uh, device that was coming out. Uh, but the new... Google device coming out. It's looking appealing. It's looking appealing, very appealing. Um, it is. Uh, however, I want to know what's going on with reviews and that first on whether it's going to be suitable for my needs. Um, it does have a couple of the downfall. It does have. A couple of the problems that put me off getting the original Nvidia sheet that put me off getting the original Chrome Chromecast. Uh, though um, it did, there is a couple of issues like that. Uh, but there's only one this time. Uh, what what it is is uh, with the original Chromecast, uh, it didn't have much storage or whatever so storage was going to be a bit of an issue for me also usb connectivity uh i prefer this isn't wireless but i've got wireless mice uh so that i do have wireless mice and i prefer with the android streaming and that to have a wireless mouse connected to it um for streaming and that kind of thing but the the google chromecast sorry i was struggling to get words out there the google chromecast was uh needing a, a hub to to um, work with that um for connection and that kind of thing plus I would have needed to spend a little bit more on a hub to get it Ethernet powered as well because streaming devices, streaming devices that are TV related or whatever, all my media equipment is hardwired in. Even all the tellies in the flat are hardwired in. The Xbox hardwired in. Tablets, phones, laptops aren't hard hardwired in. But the media content that I'd use for day to day streaming and that kind of thing at all hardwired in just so that I've got a bit of peace of mind. So there's that issue as well. Um but the new new Google Stream uh streamer does have Ethernet. It does have uh Ethernet. It does have it does have more storage, sorry. It does have more storage, sorry. But the only issue is it doesn't have uh, USB ports for mice.
So I'm going to still have to get a hub, but it's going to still have to be passed through. But it, but it'll still work out. Possibly get doing it a bit cheaper with this than it would have with the original Chromecast if I do go down the new stream option because the new Chromecast I would have had to look at different options and that and it was going to be a bit more money uh, with accessories and that peripherals. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking at different options and that kind of thing. Um, but. I am also considering building a system, uh, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to build a system because if I did build a system, I'd be able to put the Sky app on it, the Sky Go app on it, and have, have it all on one complete system where I can just operate that. Uh, but the Sky app doesn't work on Google's, on Android TV boxes or anything. I know the Virgin Media app does. I um, know that when I first moved in, I had my mum's Virgin, Virgin TV, uh, Virgin TV, uh, I had my mum's Virgin TV on the Android TV box, and she came over one night for tea, I think, or something, and she said, that's not Virgin Media, as soon as it powered on, I'm like, have to load into it first because I think she was expecting that it was going to load up looking exactly like Virgin Media, but it's not because it's on an app. So yeah, I'm just looking at what my streaming options out there are just to get the best value for my money. Uh, but yeah, I spent a lot of it. I spent a lot of most of the time anyway for the TV in that the TV in that just with streaming apps, streaming devices. Um, my five, my five. I'm what I'm watching a lot of murder she wrote on my five at the moment. I watch Netflix. I watch. Uh, I watch. Uh, other apps and that as well, and it's all app based and that at the moment. Um, I do have Sky Stream in the cupboard as well, but. On Sky Stream, are uh, Formula One and The Simpsons really on Sky Showcase or whatever it is now, uh, and I have a couple of times this week watched UK Gold on it. But the main things, the the main things that I generally focus on on the Sky, are are um, uh, Formula One and uh simpsons but yeah it's just trying to work out what i want and that kind of thing i know that the sky stream is linked into the bedroom into my room uh there's an adapter in the cupboard uh that has a us uh ethernet cable going up through the roof up through the loft into down the wall and down some channeling in the on in the room in the bedroom and in one of the adapter. Um, I know that that's for that's mainly for when the early hour races are on for the Formula One. I can just put the TV on in there and watch it on there. Uh, Sky were going to charge me wanting to charge me for two pucks, and you would have had to pay an extra subscription fee. Um, but doing it that way works out cheaper in the long and. Uh, in the long term, I know it's more, I know it's more outgoing expenditure at first, but it costs. But in the long term goal, in the long term run, in the long term goal, it would be cheaper. Uh, basically, uh, the reason why I did it that way is because, as you're aware or may may or not be aware, I live here on my own, um, so. I can't really watch Sky in two rooms at the same time. But yeah, um, even if I had someone staying over or whatever and had someone staying over or family over and the family wanted to watch Sky in here, I could still watch Freeview on the other apps in the bedroom or vice versa. So all the systems, all the systems and that that I'm using at the moment are all through, are all pretty similar software and that on the TVs. Uh, there may be different model TVs, but what I mean is the 
apps are the same and all my streaming apps are the same i've got all the streaming apps set up even on the spare bedroom tv uh so that it's all simple it's all signed in even if I change a password or change it on all the devices so that it's all signed in and simple i do admit the android tv boxes at the moment one in here one in my room one in the spare room but i i am wanting to upgrade upgrade the one in here mainly uh but yeah it's just just uh, a bit of an update and that kind of thing uh there's some good things about the google the the new google stream uh, but i'd want to work, know what linus te linus sebastian thinks of it i would like to know what other youtubes and that and that think of it before before that they do it but yeah i'm um, generally uh samson guy uh, for tv but you can't really buy samson streaming device uh the laptops are samson uh but generally generally i am going to keep you informed and that kind of thing but yeah hopefully once i get started to charge my devices and that up properly again i can start using the better camera and the better filming equipment but yeah i have a li I might have some good news or some bad news for the the gas situation at the moment. Um, it's a bit of both, really. I still haven't had any positive luck. Uh, but I know that from speaking to someone tonight that there's a lot of social workers trying to liaise with Northern Gas about getting this put back on. I know that one of my old social workers, his name's on the notes and that as well even though that I'm not open to social services anymore. So I know that it's getting looked into. Uh, there has been a couple of nasty comments and that online where I have posted that I um, want to get the gas put back on. This is the situation. This is why a lot of people have generally said that that it, the gas was turned off for a reason you need to phone the number on the card you need to do this do that i have phoned the number on the card they every time that i ring my mum rings or whoever we're all getting different messages and that so hopefully the once the gas is back on i can start getting washed again properly um on the other hand is that I'm saving a little bit of money on my gas and electric bills and my water bills as well because I'm on a water meter. So if I'm not getting a shower and that, it's it's gonna um, be a bit cheaper. But but yeah, um, people are telling me that I to look into it. Why don't you get your landlord to look into it? I am a homeowner, or I'm trying to be a homeowner. I bought this place out of my own money, and I'm proud of that. So yeah, um. If I could get my landlord to do it, I would. But speak to the person that owns your home. Uh, I own my own home, so how can I speak to myself to get it sorted? But yeah, it just peeves me off when a lot of people tell me to try my land to try my landlord. The and a lot of people are saying try my landlord. You don't own the home; it's a council flat. This is not a council flat. It's leasehold to the council because the pay service charge every year because I have, because it's a flat and it looks after the structural side, but generally I own my own home. So, yeah, um, if anyone wants to know a bit more about the dressing or the, the media equipment and that that I'm looking at, I... Don't mind speaking to anyone about further, further, further ideas and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I generally want it done legally and logistically. Uh, but yeah, it's looking, looking like I might have some ideas from my media center and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah. But yeah, it's a busy bit of a busy couple of days coming out. I just need 
to have a tie up in here before I go to bed. Uh, but yeah, um, if anyone wants to know more, more, feel free to message me. Thank you. Bye.